Mind Bender Supreme. I'm here for a hit story and reminisce show, but we are with the legendary, visionary Director X. Brother, you've done so many things for the culture and for the generation, but this is a special, special creation that you've done here. So I'm very honored. I, I was happy to participate with it and, and clear my mind and stuff. But to somebody who doesn't understand the value, can you explain to them what you're trying to do? Meditation is uh, it's essentially brain exercise. Yeah. In the same way you know that you need to go at least take a walk. But you need to exercise your body. Like, you know you have to exercise your body. Yeah. The brain needs that same exercise. And meditation's how you do it. Perfect. Right? So remove the idea that it's just monks and mountains and woo-woo kind of stuff at its base, at its core. This is brain exercise. And when you do it, your decision-making part of your brain, your prefrontal cortex gets bigger. And the uh, the emotional control of your brain, your gut, gets smaller. Just like, ex just like normal exercise. Wow. The gut gets smaller, the muscles get bigger. Wow. Stress makes your amygdala that emotional part yeah get bigger wow wow and stress makes the decision making part your prefrontal cortex get smaller Word. Right? childhood abuse and neglect has the same effect it shrinks the prefrontal cortex so real. enlarges the amygdala neglect. hitting your kid and neglecting your kid do the same thing shrink the prefrontal cortex enlarging the amygdala so your emotions are big your decision making is small wow same with stress does the same thing this is brain damage and you can fix it through meditation. Amen. Meditation, again, makes your prefrontal cortex bigger. That's decision making. It makes your amygdala, the, the emotional control, smaller. Better control of your emotions, more decision making power. This is what meditation does for you. I do a little meditation. I, I really become one with music and art and love and, and, and inner peace. And I just want to ask, like, the, the version of you that is breathing and, and working on this now, like, you could really feel the difference between the younger you that maybe oh, was... without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. I yeah. wish if I could go back in time and give one piece of advice to my younger me, it would be to meditate. Word, word. That would be that. If you, get to this point, if you got one moment, you know what I mean? That would be it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And so this isn't the first time that you've created something for Nui Blanche, though. This is... Yeah, but this isn't my creation. This oh. is a different artist. This this artist here, like it says over there, Hank Willis Thomas Okay, is is the artist here. But we're, we're putting... The, you know, it just felt like this being here at Fort York... This being, you know, the Black Power hair pick, it yes. just felt like the right place to do something with Operation Prefrontal Cortex. Operation Prefrontal Cortex is born out of uh, finding a new way to deal with gun violence, a new way to deal with that that reactive mind. Yeah, right. Sh short that, short term fear, not a real solution, just a, a fear based, right. power based. So, it's the socioeconomics of violence and guns is out of our control yes but if we can get to the individual have them begin to meditate and their snap point begins to change where they might have snapped over here yeah you're right. i can move that way down to, to you know what if i can get you know what i mean so i'm not we're not we're, we're realistic a certain man ain't putting their gun down so if you're not going to put the gun down then maybe i can change when you pull it out you're maybe right. i can change when you decide to use it to a point where you, you know what I mean? That, that we're we're in a different space with this. Amen. Right? So that, that, and then on the flip side of it is for those who live around the gun violence, the trauma of seeing your friends get uh, shot, the trauma of being around a shooting, of, of having to run for your life. These are these have great effects on you. Absolutely. Especially when you're very young, meditation can also help with that trauma. So that is this is our approach to the violence in our community is through meditation. Amen, brother. We all we really do need the healing and we know Babylon isn't healing us. They want to exploit us, extort us, kill us or murder us. So honestly, anybody in the community that's really contributing something, it's 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 God's work, it's divine angel earth work that you are doing and really thank you for it. Oh, right? Thank like, you, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. We also are gonna walk around and we are gonna go check out like you gotta see it all, some other bro. some other new e bar stuff. Yeah, they, come on. yeah, you did that globe, right? A couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, I did yeah. That for the sun. That, that's right. That was wild. That's wild. And then Drake ended up touring with that, right? Yeah, and like, Drake yeah, took yeah. it on the road. So like I, I just wanted to ask, like, creating something so big, like what how how, how difficult is it? Uh, do you need, uh, well, you need teams? You need, you need like, teams, you need patience, you need time. It's a whole thing, but it's a great, 
great to do. I mean, basically put a science experiment in front of City Hall. So that's dope. That's dope. Well, hey, thank you for this. Thank you, thank you bro. Keep spreading love, X. Every time. All right, man.